And the U.S. Senate voted against the bill by the Republicans, which say that they will only fund the government if President Obama's health care bill is delayed by a year. With the Republicans and the Democrats trading charges over a looming shutdown, the president has warned that the shutdown will hurt the country's economy and has also urged the government to avoid one. The U.S. government is on the brink of a shutdown, with the Senate rejecting the House budget bill passed by the Republicans aiming to delay Obama's health care plan. Time for the Senate to listen to the American people, just like the House has listened to the American people. But the Democrats have refused to back down on bringing in Obamacare, holding the Republicans responsible for the imminent halt to all non-essential government operations. We are not going to change Obamacare. If John Boehner blocks this, he will be forcing a government shutdown, and it will be a Republican government shutdown. That's pure and simple. Even President Barack Obama has made it clear that he will not allow any amendments or delay in his health care initiative. I suspect that I will be speaking to the, uh, the leaders today, tomorrow and the next day. Um, but there's a, there, there's a pretty straightforward solution to this. If you set aside uh, the short-term politics and uh, you look at the long-term here, uh, what it simply requires is everybody to act responsibly and, and do what's right for the American people. If the Senate does not reach an agreement soon, the government will close all non-essential federal services, a first in the U.S. history in 17 years. Bureau Report, Times Now.